Welcome to the video series for Semantic Messaging Gateway. In this video, we'll cover how you can use sender authentication to detect senders who may not be who they appear to be. To evade detection, spammers often forge the mail server name, the sending domain, or other metadata in email messages. Without sender authentication, these spam messages, which may be phishing attempts or targeted attacks, can reach your users. Semantic Messaging Gateway provides multiple sender authentication options to detect these forgeries. When a message fails authentication, content filtering policies can delete it automatically, or send it to a quarantine folder for examination, or even deliver it to recipients if the message fails one sender authentication test but passes another. In any case, sender authentication is one of your first lines of defense against spam and phishing attacks. Now let's take a look at SBF, DKIM, and DMARC sender authentication methods and how they work. For Sender Policy Framework, or SBF, each domain owner uses a DNS text record to identify which email servers are authorized to send mail from the domain. When a message is received, Semantic Messaging Gateway looks up the server information in the DNS record. If the mail server is listed, the message is accepted. If the mail server is not listed, SPF authentication fails and the message is blocked. Other results are possible. For example, the domain may not list their authorized servers, so the result is none. Semantic Messaging Gateway provides content filtering policy conditions to handle different SPF verification results. For domain keys identified mail, better known as DKIM, the domain owner signs outbound mail with a private domain key and adds the matching public key to the domain's DNS records. When a message is received, Semantic Messaging Gateway looks up the DKIM public key and uses it to compare the original signatures and received signatures in the message header and body. If the signatures match, the message passes DKIM authentication. If the signatures do not match, the message is blocked. Like SPF, DKIM authentication may generate results other than pass or fail. Semantic Messaging Gateway also provides content filtering policy conditions to handle different DKIM verification results. DMARC authenticates senders using SPF and DKIM, but then adds a way for senders and receivers to share information about the results. Sending domains can publish their DMARC policies in their DNS text records. When a message is sent with a DKIM signature, Semantic Messaging Gateway checks the sender's DNS records for a DMARC policy and the SPF and DKIM records. The SPF and DKIM authentication results, plus the sender's published DMARC policy, generate a DMARC result. Semantic Messaging Gateway then applies the content filtering policy that matches the DMARC result. If DMARC sender reports are enabled and DMARC authentication fails, Semantic Messaging Gateway sends a DMARC report to the email address in the sender's DNS record. This allows the sender to track patterns of DMARC failures and, when indicated, investigate whether the sending domain is being spoofed. You can select your sender authentication methods and enable DMARC reporting in the Semantic Messaging Gateway Control Center on the Spam, Settings, Sender Authentication page. Semantic recommends that you authenticate all domains, but you can choose to authenticate only a selected list of domains instead or whitelist the selected domains. To process the inbound messages that don't pass sender authentication, you assign content filtering policies to your groups. Semantic Messaging Gateway provides these default policies to handle different authentication results. You can change the conditions or actions in the default policies, or assign the policies to your groups as is. You can also create copies and customize the copies for specific groups, or create new policies from scratch. Whatever you decide, Semantic Messaging Gateway Sender Authentication gives you the power to detect senders who hide their identities, reducing spam and phishing attacks.